Going into more detail than a one-step algebra problem, you will commonly see two-step algebra word and basic problems on the GED math test. So let's start this out. So as a quick summary, keep in mind that algebraic equations involves finding values of variables by getting them on one side of the equation alone. So just like with how we saw um, one-step algebra equations, we just want to have a variable on either side of the equal sign, and it doesn't matter which side it's on. Next, some helpful tips. Always keep in mind order of operations, or PEMDAS, where you want to do parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. Always do them in that order. Two, if you can't figure out which one to do, um, or if it just seems confusing, definitely start from left to right, but only do that after you started doing orders of operations. So our first basic problem, it says find w in 2w plus 5 equals 25. Well, just like with what we saw with one-step algebra equations, we want to basically start or move away from the variable. So the thing that's not connected to the variable is this plus 5. So in order to get rid of that plus 5, we want to subtract 5 from both sides. Remember, it's like a balance. So that 5 is going to cancel out. So now 25 minus 5 is going to give us 20. And now left over, we have 2w. From there, it's basically like 2 times w. So to get rid of that multiplication, we want to divide. So what we do to the left, we also do to the right. So those 2s cancel out, and we have w on the left, and 20 divided by 2 gives us 10 for answer C. Next, our basic problem number two, we have t divided by four minus six is equal to negative two. So what we wanna do is first, just kind of avoid anything to do with the variable. So now we're just going to kind of cancel out this negative six. So in order to do that, we want to do the opposite or add six. So if we're adding six to the left, we also have to do that to the right. So with this kind of problem where you have a negative number and a positive number, you first always want to look and see which number is larger. Well, 6 is larger than 2, so we want to look at the sign of that larger number, or 6. So the sign is positive, so that means our answer is also going to be positive. 2, since they're different, one is negative and one is positive, we want to subtract them. So 6 minus 2 is just going to give us 4 or positive 4, since that 6 is positive. From there, we have left over t divided by 4. So we want to do the opposite of divide by 4, so that means we're going to have to multiply by 4 on both sides. So the 4s on the left cancel out. So we have t is now equal to, and then 4 times 4 just gives us 16, or answer A. Looking at a word problem, it says, Anna's age is two more than twice her brother's. If her brother is four years old, how old is Anna? Well, let's break this down piece by piece. So we know Anna's age, let's give that an x, is two more. So let's say x is equal to two more, let's say plus two, than twice her brother's age. So let's say we're multiplying her brother's age two times. And then it says if her brother is four years old, how old is Anna? So if we enter four into this equation, we now have two times four plus two is equal to x. So if we do all of this together, two times four gives us eight plus two gives us 10. So that means our answer for this one is D, 10. Looking at our second word problem, it says one number is 15 greater than three times the other. If the greater number is 165, what is the smaller number? So whether you want to put this into an equation or whether you just want to solve this out maybe in your head or in writing, always keep in mind whatever is the most comfortable and easiest for you is the best option. Don't try to force yourself to do something that you don't feel is comfortable. So, in this case, we already know that one of the numbers is 165. Okay, great. And we know one number is 15 greater than three times the other. So if we already know <clears throat> what is 165, we can subtract 15 from that one. 
that's going to give us 150, and then it says three times the other. Well, if we're trying to get to the other number, we have to divide it by three instead of multiply it by three. So if we divide that by three, 150 divided by three is just going to give us 50 or answer C. So always keep in mind, study hard, because when you pass your GED, it'll be completely worth it.